To solve this problem, you will first need to look up the standard enthalpies of formation for each of your substances in this chemical reaction. These values can generally be looked up in the standard enthalpy values table provided at the end of your textbook in the appendix section. To save time, I have already pulled the values for you. And next, what you will need to do is plug in these values into the standard enthalpy formation reaction for this for a reaction. Okay, so let's start with the products. For the products, we have one mole of carbon dioxide, which has a value of negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. And that's going to be multiplied by one mole of carbon dioxide. That is going to be then added to one mole of hydrogen, which has a value of zero kilojoules per mole, multiplied by one mole of hydrogen. Then that's going to be subtracted by the reactants. For the reactants, what we have is one mole of carbon monoxide, which has a value of negative 110.5 kilojoules per mole, multiplied by one mole of carbon monoxide. And that's in turn added by one mole of water, which has a value of negative 241.826 kilojoules per mole times one mole of water. Okay. So then we see that the moles then cancel out. and we're left with kilojoules. Now, if you bring out your calculator and punch this into your calculator, what you should end up with is negative 41.174 kilojoules. Once you get to the thermodynamic section, when you see the negative, you should know right away that it is an exothermic reaction. 